guys, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a breakdown of the most famous pre-med courses here in the Philippines. What is the best pre-med course? Oh, my family. My family. <laughs> oh my god. To be completely honest, I think for me, walang best pre-med course. Lahat ng pre-med courses here in the Philippines may pros and cons. But of course, I know that's not why you clicked on this video. So without further ado, let's start discussing the famous pre-med courses here in the Philippines. So I researched ng konte and I found I think around seven or eight popular pre-med courses here in the Philippines. But please take note na pag dinaskas ko to, hindi siya arranged in order like the most popular to the least popular. Randomly arranged lang siya. Yung mga details na sabihin ko sa video na to, galing talaga siya sa mga tao na yun yung course. But if may namis akong details mamaya na i-mention, please don't hesitate to comment down below if may additional kayong sasabihin sa course na yun. So okay, let's start! Okay, so the first course is BS Pharmacy. BS Pharmacy will be super helpful pagdating niya ng second year meds, sabi nila. Kasi meron talagang subject na pharmacology sa med school. From what I know, sa mga second year med student friends ko, ang hirap daw talaga ng subject na yun. So if BS Pharma ka, syempre, sobrang laking tulong nun, sobrang laking advantage nun pagdating yun ang second year med school. Also, maraming chemistry yung course na yun. And chemistry is really hard. <laughs> so, okay na pre-med mo palang nakahasa ka na agad sa mga chemistry courses. My friend na BS Pharmacy na na-interview ko for this also said na, na maganda tong pre-med course kasi meron ka lang gist nung treatment and management. So, basically, diagnosis na lang yung paproblemahin mo. And, may hospital experience sila. Yung friend ko meron sa 200 minor hours and 360 major hours, which comes to a total of 560 hours hours of duty sa hospital, which is really helpful kasi may kita niyo mamaya na some of the courses na i-mention ko, walang hospital duty, walang hospital exposure. And of course, one of the most important parts of choosing a pre-med course is the fallback to jobs. Guys, hindi lang taga-benta ng gamot ang magiging trabaho ng BS Pharmacy. Pwede kang naging researcher, pwede kang pumasang sa public health, quality assurance and quality control, industrial pharmacy, telepharmacy, telepharmacy daw parang malakol center for pharmacists, hospital pharmacy, community pharmacy, and of course, you can't go wrong with going to the academe world. Some of the cons na sinabi niya is yung anatomy daw nila, hindi masyadong detailed. Although, meron pa rin silang anatomy, syempre nag-focus sila more on the chemistry side, and I guess a little bit more on the physiology. Pero yun, anatomy is one of the hardest subjects in first year med. I also think hindi rin super advantageous yung course na to for NMAP. But overall, it's a really good pre-med course. Number two is medical technology. I think itong course na to yung one of the most popular pre-med course here in the Philippines. If you search kayo online sa Google, mostly sa mga forums, Pinoy forums, makikita nyo na medtech talaga yung marami nyo suggest. For a good reason, kasi halos lahat daw ng subjects nila are synonymous or magagamit nyo during second year med school. And marami silang hospital exposure. Especially daw during fourth year internship nila over six months. Approximately around 1,200 hours, which is around twice na hospital exposure ng BS Pharmacy. And marami rin silang chemistry. So this is really the good pre-med course if you're interested in chemistry, hematology, and also microbiology. Microbiology is a really interesting course. I think isa yun sa favorite subjects ko nung college pa ko. Of course, fallback jobs include being a registered medical technologist in a hospital. I think in demand din yung mga med tech ngayon abroad if ayaw nyo na mag-doctor and may bala kayong mag work abroad. And for the cons, according to my friend, it's not very advantageous in NMAP. Parang yung DS Farm mas advantageous sila more on the hospital side na, the hospital scene. I think like BS Pharmacy yung mas advantageous lang to sa chemistry part ng NMAP. But you really need to read up again on biology, physics, math, social science. And I think since one of the most popular pre-med courses to in the Philippines, sobrang nakaka-pressure daw. Halos lahat ng class mismo gusto ng dumiretso ng med. So nakaka-pressure and very stressful. Also, anatomy and physiology are not one of their strongest points. I think sabi ng friend ko, combined daw yung anatomy and physiology nila. Which means hindi ganun ka-deep yung pag-aral nila sa anatomy and physiology. And yung anafisha daw nila more on the chemistry side. So pagdating yun ng med school, syempre, konti lang yung advantage nila. Kasi sobrang broad na magiging topic pagdating ng med school. Okay, number three is nursing. This is a very very practical pre-med course. The best pro about nursing is ang dami niyong 
hospital exposure. My nursing friend said as early as first year daw exposed na agad kaya sa hospital. Nagsasyado na kaya ng higher years. And may first hand experience na kaya with patients. Sanay ka na agad sa long hours of duty. Yung cons ng nursing, I'm not really sure if bad thing to. But it's really hard to juggle if you're studying and you're in the hospital and you're trying to have a life at the same time. I think this can be a pro to some people kasi as early as that. Nakahasa na agad kayo na ganun yung work or study habits nyo. But at the same time, I think this can also be a bad side. Especially dun sa mga tao na so-so lang gusto maging doctor. Kasi I think a place niya maka-burn out. Tapos nakakapagod siya. But if you really like doing what you love, then I think this is a really good course for you. Again, hindi siya masyadong advantages for NMAT. All back jobs, of course, being a registered nurse. Number four is physical therapy. I think PT is really, really good. Especially if gusto niyo maging ortho doctor or rehab doctor. And sobrang ganda ng foundation nila for anatomy and physiology. And my friend said, kinesiology? <laughs> Hindi ko ano yun. Okay, kinesiology is the scientific study of human or non-human body movement. My friend super passionate niya about being a BSPD student. Kahit undergrad pa lang sila, ang dami na lang na diagnose and feeling daw nila minsan parang house MD. So I think it's a super fun course. But I'm not sure sa ibang schools, but sabi ng friend ko yung BSPD daw is a 5-year course. Alam niyo kilala na gusto sana mag-med, but since 5 years, tapos araw ka ng araw ng aral, puro memorize. Parang nakaka-burn out, napagod sila mag-aral kasi another 4 years na naman ng pag-aaral. One eternity later. But again, it depends on the person. If super passionate ka naman sa pinag-aralan mo and you want to further continue, gusto mo pa rin mag-med, and then go. Sabi din niya, it's super fulfilling sa course niya na makita mo na yung patients mo nag-improve na or nagpa-progress na. So I think that's cool. Next is BS Psychology. Unlike all the other courses that I've mentioned or I will mention later, this is the only course I think that is not a pure science or at least dun sa undergrad college ko under siya ng College of Liberal Arts. Hindi siya under ng College of Science. But huwag kayong magpapaloko dun. I think BS Psych is still a good pre-med course. Of course, meron siyang pros, meron din siyang cons. BS Psych is under, I think, or within the scope of behavioral science. So for the things of patient-doctor relationship, I think mas madali nang i-establish. Also, as what I've said earlier, even though hindi siya pure science, what's good about this course is na meet niya parang yung minimum number of requirements na kailangan niyo for med school. This means hindi mo na kailangan mag-enroll ng extra units kasi pasok ka na naman dun sa units needed. And it's really interesting. I think BS Psych is really interesting. Of course, hindi totoo yung sinasabi ng mga tao na basta BS Psych ka, mahuhulaan mo na yung mga tao or alam mo na yung iisip nila. And even though short sila sa mga science courses, I don't think that's really a con. Kasi nga pagdating naman ng med school, back to zero naman lahat. Although may advantage yung iba, some point back to zero pa rin tayo lahat. Lahat tayo, kailangan mag-aral ulit. It does it mean that for the BS Pharmacy, you don't need to learn to study for pharmacology? No. You have a little edge, but that doesn't mean that it's better than your course than in BS Psych. For the cons, in BS Psych, they don't have a hospital background. Or at least in the school, they don't have a hospital background. If you're BS Psych or you have a BS Psych friend who has a hospital experience, please correct me by commenting down below. My practicum or OJT friend is more on industrial psychology. But of course, they can also be in the hospital. I think what's nice about this course is very very flexible siya. Also to add to the pros, nakalimutan ko. Advantages siya for NMAT. Kasi meron social science part dun sa NMAT. And hindi naman lahat, pero karamihan ng topics na nandun, mostly under psychology. Pero still, sobrang helpful na ang dami mo nang alam for that topic. Next is biology. I think this is also one of the most popular pre-med courses here in the Philippines. I think yung top pro ng BS Bio as a pre-med course is very advantageous siya for NMAT. Yung subjects na tinitake namin sa BS Bio, by the way, for those who don't know, I was BS Biology. Anyway, as I was saying, yung subjects na tinitake namin sa course ko, lahat nandun sa NMAT. So we have physics, math, course, biology subjects, and sobrang dami din namin chemistry. Hindi naman sobrang dali ng NMAT, pero nakahelp talaga siya. And yung subjects din namin, I think, are close to the medical field. We have anatomy, physiology, genetics, embryology. But I think yung bad side is, yung subjects namin na yun, hindi lang siya more on humans. Kasi since hindi naman talaga formulated yung DS Biology as a pre-med course, of course, we study all kinds of life forms. So during anatomy, yung pinag-aaral namin, hindi lang human anatomy. Pinag-aaralan din namin yung anatomy of the cats, anatomy of dogs. 
dog. Believe it or not, nagdesect din kami ng cockroaches. Of course, nagdesect kami ng halaman. We also had courses na I think hindi naman masyadong magagamit sa medical field, like botany and ecology. Wala rin kami hospital experience, but marami kami lab experience. I think that's really important for research. Speaking of research, I think yun yung one of the fallback jobs of a bio major. Pwede ka maging researcher. Pwede rin sa industrial field, yung parang mga quality check, quality assurance, contamination, or pH checking. Pwede rin lab work sa mga pharma industries. Also, one of the cons, wala kami board exams. I think halos lahat ng minention ko sa video na to may board exams. Lisensyado sila. Ba't kami wala? Oh. The most famous course dito is biochemistry. It's very similar to biology. The difference is that it's heavy yung math and physics of biochemistry. Especially the subjects of physical chemistry. You need to have a higher understanding of calculus so you can pass it to physical chemistry. And the biochem has board exams. But yeah, I think if you're not so much in math or physics or in the forte, then I think biology is the better option for you. And if you're so sure that you really want to be a doctor, there are also pre-med courses that are straight ka na to med school. I'm pretty sure that you can do that. There's one in UP, I think, in Tarmed. And sa Lasal, meron din ganun. Ang tawag naman is human bio. Basically, two years ka lang sa undergrad, sa college. And then the next four years, diretso ka na ng med school. So in a total of six years lang, the core ka na agad. But yung mahirap sa course na to, if hindi ka naman pala sure, or in the middle of it, na-realize mo na ayaw mong maging doktor, ang hirap mag-shift out. And sobrang konti lang talaga ng tao na kinuha nila para sa mga courses na to. So sayang naman. But yes, that is it for this video. Don't forget to comment down below on what you think is the best pre-med course. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And please don't forget to subscribe. I upload med-related videos once a week. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.